Welcome to my cognition is critical because it's never not critical. And also, I've been here for. What's the tab? Yeah, that doesn't even tell me either. I've been here for who knows how long. I think I'm getting cold sickness. All right, where are you at? Oh, right, my rocket needs to come back. I believe it is fine to do this on its own. It's just absolutely dead dead. Uh, hmm. I need to make some more of these little seed trays. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because clearly, it looks like I need to check these out and actually play with them some more because... I never thought messing with plants would be such a cool thing. Oh, Astraloi Emporium. Go ahead and sell to you. Start eats, void vegetables, sorry. Looks like I will need my suit er earlier than I thought, after all. Oh man, I should probably use the powered vent for this. Alright, fix you. Fix you. There we go. Now that you've landed, uh... Tell you to cycle and sell all my iron. All my... Ooh. Now you can go home. I'm pretty sure my thing will that that thing will get them all squared away. Uh for now, let's not have my suit, keep my hygiene up. And let's see how my rocket is doing for coming down. Yeah, I'm very confident that this is going to do that job real well. Alright. Let's go check up there. Alright, my chickens. Which one of y'all are still alive and which one of y'all have forgotten to eat again? Oh, right. I got baby chickies. Okay. There it is. It's like up there where, if you can see my little mile icon, like right there, straight up. That's where my rocket is. Okay. Back to my greenhouse. So I know I was checking some stuff. Pressure critical. Oxygen critical. Temperature critical. I'm gonna kill myself with my own greenhouse. Alright. So that's got my good life per day and my good production. So let's go ahead and print the plant you. Okay, so 
if I remember right. These were all the ones with really good uh, growth. <clears throat> I don't even know what that one is up there. Yeah, very good growth, very good light per day. Okay, what about you? Or you? You're up here for some reason. That's all I know. Ah, because you had a really good light per day. Okay. So, back to the sampling. So all of you guys are growth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eh. Eh. Chicken food. That's a good while. Maybe I might need to have a fridge in here. Ooh. I think I need to have a, like a good organization among these things because it would help. So, I think what I should do is, when I get really good plants, with really good seeds, I keep the seeds, because then I'll have backups. Alright. So, I should go on ahead and plant those, but... I should really bring a ladder. Okay. Let's see which ones are good. I think these seeds were good enough that I can just store them up there. You were one of those really strong seeds. So I'm planting you. Alright, let's see how this plant came about. Ugh. This is a junk seed. I need a trash can that goes out there. Now what? Just throw it out there towards the chickens. Alright, what about you? Don't know how good those are, but let's see. Oh! These are amazing seeds. Okay, so that means these are good plants, right? I picked I picked that whole row from one plant, so that so that should be good, right? There should be some growth, I would say. But we had some variants there. See, that's not very good. I picked that from the same plant, and yet that came out at that terrible rate. I think I need two. That way I can start analyzing two at a time. But I need more tables. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually trying to grow plants. Okay. Terrible. I'll go with the seed again. good. So I'll store this just in case. I 
do like how those are just kind of funny looking like that. Bad. Okay, that was the top one. <gasps> oh, that is great! Mmm. You are one of the good plants, so we're going to destabilize you, and I'm going to plant the top row up there. You're bad. Alright. So what I want to do... Okay. Because I completely forget things. I'm going to destabilize all of y'all, and I'm going to bring only the ones above a growth rate of 10% over to plant. And you're, you're one of those, so let's put 12 right there. I think that bottom one was amazing. Oh. Okay. That's an 11%. That's good. Okay. was an 11%, so I'll just put you here. Kind of like a third string. Okay, you're a 15%. You're the one that wanted, that I really wanted to plant. actually bad. Wait. You were a 102? That's terrible. I'm throwing you away. Welcome to Stationeers, where Shadow Drake actually tries to do plant genetics and remember what plant he literally just sampled a few seconds ago. So I got four plants. Well, that's a good one. That's another good one. All right. Two, three, four, five, six. So let's just. All right. I'm spending so much time on this. <clears throat> but I think admittedly, I just kind of want to see how this goes. Let's see how good the seeds are first, because if they're good, I'm going to keep them. These are basically the fast-growing seeds. And I don't even remember what that plant was like. See, that's a 9 minute 30 seed. That's not that bad. This is a junk seed.
Okay, I have got to shoot up to that thing, to that shoot now, so that I can actually throw away junk plants that I don't care about, so that they can just be composted. Oh, that is, that is 10 pounds on no. Okay, you know what? I know I tried to get those good. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to suffocate myself a little bit. I'm going to just throw these genetically modified wheat a little bit. Oxygen low. Oxygen critical. <laughs> Pressure critical. Temperature critical. All right. Split half and half here. Half and half here. Half, half, here. Half, here. Did I have here? Alright. Are you two gonna be stupid and forget to eat? There. Got it. Okay. Let's go back out there. Okay. Let's go to do some actual work around in this place. Build ink. That's interesting. 9 by 9 3 by 3 asteroid. Build ink. Okay. I'm kind of at that point where I think I want to refuel the... Uh... I think I want to refuel the rocket and just go on ahead and scan for water. Like, I am slowly wearing myself down on on that, because... I kind of need water. And I think I really need to actually start going out to get water. Because if I don't, I might actually regret the fact that I, I have not been doing that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and I am going to turn on the thing to get rid of the extra pollutants that are obviously going to be in here. So, I have a lot of CO2. I, I don't really technically have a lot of C2. I have 105,000 kilomoles of that in there. 16,000, 74,000. But at least I have a comf comfortable way to get rid of them. Potentially want to test to see just how bad it's going to get, but it's not. My water tank is 188 Celsius. Uh, how am I doing here? Still 2.69 kilojoules. 1.5. 1.5. There's admittedly less and less here, so I guess... I think I really do need a second evaporation chamber to actually keep the speed going for to make this process better, but... Eh, I digress. Okay. So, I think what I want to do this time is to work on that maintenance swing. Uh, before I do that, though, let me make sure that this is not going to burst. Oh, yeah, that's not going to burst. That's, like completely going to be fine. And that is going to push volatiles in here, which means I'm going to get fuel, which means it's going to be okay. Uh...
So. That's not going to do anything. That max up. I probably just put like a ton of cobalt in here. Alright, so I need to get some of this junk out because I think I am messing with that really, really bad. It doesn't help. It really does not help that uh, all my stuff is wanting to come in here. Well, there's my storm. I was wondering if I was going to have one of those. Some astroloy, some solder. Got some stuff there. Uh, storm kind of came out a bad time. Alright. Who needs steel? Who needs that? Let's put a little bit more steel in you. Chomp. Solder. Do you need solder? Got 133 grams of it. Might as well give you more. Okay. What about Astroloy? Who needs Astroloy? You have no Astroloy, but I don't think I've ever seen you make anything from Astroloy. At 210 at grams of Astroloy, you have no Astroloy. What are you doing with that Astroloy? Get some Astroloy. Steel, you got 387, 687. Oh, right, I need to make some iron. Okay. So, now that that's, uh... Okay, now that those have uh, opened up and shut these off, it's going to take them a while to recharge. Okay. Hmm. That threw off my groove. Not going to lie, that did throw off my groove pretty bad. But I do need some... Uh, Iron. Let's go get some iron and let's see where am I with oh, walls. Got plenty of walls out there. I think I really do need to make a second vending machine for some building materials down here. And uh relocate a lot of the stuff in my original vending machine. So that when I buy stuff, it goes in there. I can remove them out. Why am I so much faster in the storm? Okay. First, gonna need y'all. Ah, iron. Why is that so cold? Radiating some heat. Oh. I must have lost... Yeah, pressure on the inside. Dang it, now I gotta fix that too. I think 200 Gs of iron is enough. Go. 
so I need to print out some doors. I gotta actually start wiring those spots a little bit. And this is kind of where the doors is kind of what I need. I need some door kits. I need some cables. I got some door kits here. Got some walls, some frames. I don't really think I need frames for the insulated pipings. That's so much junk. And it's honestly because my organization skill is... Oh, that's new. My organizational skills are lacking. So I'm kind of at perpetually unsure of what I do or do not have. The storm comes out at a very good time, though. Alright. Got more doors. Because these have always been trained. Okay. Back outside we go after we eat ourselves a muffin. Let's eat a muffin. So, if I recall right, those eggs will fully degrade when they get to about... I believe when they get to about 20%. Alright, good. We got eggs. Let's go ahead and put this in the uh, freezer. And handle this stuff too, because... So that's kind of fine right now. Okay. Back to doing stuff that I meant I want to be doing. So I really honestly wanted to start programming the maintenance door. Kind of like access area. But the storm is going to keep me from doing that. So what I think what I'm going to do. Oh, that's open. Okay. is I need to remove these pipes because I think what I want to do is have a door here to kind of come to this area as well and a door there but I cannot have these pipes here for reasons you at the down position. There we go. I want you right here because I, I want to be able to put a door hmm. blocked by cable straight. Oh, okay. Oh, is it this cable that's blocking it? Oh, that's that's kind of annoying. Is it this cable? I got way too much stuff, but the storm's over. Is it that cable that's doing that? 
It is. Uh. Okay. The question is, how do I get a cable across? Can't go through there. It's got to be a through up there. Okay, that should have re allowed. Oh, come on. No, it did not. Okay. Shoot. because I forgot to do th this end up here. Okay. That gets that. Perfect. Alright, so now I just need to weld that up. With some good old-fashioned plastic sheets. That's crowbar and glass. Okay. Perfect. You are the first floor maintenance. Maintain maintenance. First floor maintenance uh, right. Because I do want another one right here. left. Alright. So. I'm going to go on ahead and do that. You are external. Oh, come on now. <laughs> Elevator angry noises. Uh, okay, so let's define glass door. And I need to have glass door. I need your structure. Okay, now I need to define ashes. For that, I need to come down here. Alright, so... You are defined first floor maintenance external. So define first external ash first floor maintenance external. I believe that's what I called you. Ah, floor. And define first int. Ash first floor maintenance internal. I believe that's what you are. Maintenance in. Okay. Don't know why I have you as in, but 
Don't care. Whatever. So let's let's S B G D U door mode one. That should that should put all doors. Put all doors in logic mode. S B G door open zero closes all maintenance doors. So let's do that. It's perfect. All right. Now. Let's define. Uh. First mate right first floor maintenance right is that what I called you first floor mate right okay first floor mate right now define first mate left hash first floor mate left all right, this is kind of where it's going to get a little bit tricky here. This is just going to set the elevator speeds. It doesn't need to be there. So, oh, let's uh, low L L B N R zero. Let's do the right and left so that I can get in and out. LBN R0 from G door, G door first mate R and we want setting sum sum let's do the same thing LBN R1 G door So we're loading these two. I'm probably going to do like kind of like another stack thing. But let's see. Now, if SNEC Two. LBN R1 G door first mate R open sum. Let's do the same thing. LBN R3 G door first mate mates left open sum. If S and E. All right. There we go. We'll just okay. So, alias. Uh, side door. Toggle. We'll just do R fifteen. Side door toggle. If R zero is not R one. Toggle right. Alias. I think it's I think I can select for 
and look at R0. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Let's write door open. Probably have way too much there. So, R. Right door, talk. So, right door, talk. Right door, talk. Okay. So, if, let's get you down there a little bit more. So, if I remember right, it chooses B if non-zero. It will choose R0, which is the new setting. Otherwise, it does right door open. Right? That should be how it works. All right, I got something wrong. So, SDB, right door open. Setting, right door open. Because you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to put an SBN, G door, first, main, right, open, for literally our door open. It's not going to perform actions. Hydration critical. It's not going to perform actions if you don't do the related actions. Alias. So, L door open R 12 alias L Door tog R13. Because what I'm going to have to do is do the whole logic, the, the stack grabber, get all that stuff, and yada yada yada. Okay, so SNE Eldor Tog. How did I spell that? With capital letters. R2, R3, select L door open, L door tog, and then we'll look at R2, L door open. SBN, G door, first mate, L open, L door open. Got it. Now that I'm at this, I can reuse I'm gonna have to stick these here. Because after all I have three floors to do. Could I have just actually not typed that all out? Possibly. Okay, so this is side side door script. But now we need the actual floor script. This is where it's going to get a little bit tricky. Because I need to introduce a delay. Because I can't just open the door. 
so I basically do the same thing. LBN, R0, G door, uh, first X setting sum, LBN, R1, G door, first X open sum, sum, LBN, R2, G door, first int setting sum. LBN R3 G door first int open sum. All right, so it's going to start off like this again. But now I have to do something different. I might have to do kind of like another mode thing. This is just going to have to always happen. Student SBG door setting zero. We're not supposed to technically do anything with that, but if I think I think if I set it all like that. Yeah, it's gonna keep them all from opening. Okay. So here's the thing. Let's just gonna alias floor mode R11. That's the only way that I can think of getting it to work because I have to check to see. I gotta have a timer. I gotta have a kind of like a a delay period so that I don't just open or open the other door. I have to make sure that the door closes and then opens the other one. Door closes, opens the other one. You know, it just does that. And so I have I have four modes. I have B E Q Z uh floor mode. This is this is di this is idle mates open to maintenance. B E Q floor mode uh Closing, closing mains, and this is, oh, and this is closing maintenance door. BQ floor mode two, this is idle int, open to int, interior. BQ floor mode three, and this is closing int which is closing interior door so the idea is i'll go to idle main closing main idle integer you know and then just j end over here just so that i don't screw something way the heck up okay uh so let's see idle m closing m idle i closing i at the end, J end, J end, J end, J end. I'm, I'm literally basically making a pseudo airlock. Like I'm, I'm. The idea is that I will not. The, the the maintenance floor should never be depressurized. It should have its own pressurization, its own uh temperature control. It should be 
sealed in. If something happens, then, you know, I want to protect the inside from anything that could happen. So, I do need to know the settings and the opens. So, for idle main, if... Let's... SBN... Uh, G door. First external lock one. Idle in. SB and G door. First int lock one. I think that the reason I want to do that is because that prevents. this from being toggled. So if I were to look at this with the config tab, see it's at mode one setting. I can interact with this and it's no longer a thing. But you know the thing is it's gonna it's gonna be open. So idle main to external it's gonna be open. So it's gonna be open one, all that stuff. So So let's adjust this a little bit. I mean, it, it is going to be very simple. So SBN G door first external open one. Just like this one is going to be SBN G door first int open one. See, now it's open. And I can't change it. I think that's what I want to do. I want to change it because I want it to be locked. And so, like, I want to be able to click this. This will close. This will close. Unlock. This will open. Lock. All right, let's go drink some water before I die. does not look like I'm going to get very far into that. Because I, I want to get that squared away, because I want to get that door system working, because once I close it, it's going to be a hassle to move around in. Let's get my Stella in something, and my Inconel in something, too. And let's go check on the chickens one last time. Alright, who needs Stellite? You have quite a lot of Stellite. You don't have much, much Stellite. What about you? Ah. You tend to need more ink canals, so let's stick you in here. I mean, I know I can quick drink this, but I'm just kind of letting this be my thinking period. I think I might run this by Essa, but I, I really do think. Oh, look, fully charged. I can turn that off. I may have to run it by Essa to see exactly... Uh... Like I, I do want her to do the scanner rocket, but I might need to just go ahead and scan down the uh, water area. I also need to remove the airlock from the greenhouse, too. All right, so with that in mind. Wait, my fuel is... Oh, okay. Six, seven, eight. It's, um, it's getting close to being one Earth year in-game.
all of those volatiles that are going in here. That's a lot of volatiles. I'm putting a lot of pollutants in here, I know that. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn this on and drain. All those extra volatiles are going to go, be, are going to get pushed in here, and it's going to allow this to be fed much faster, so that this will hopefully not just. Well, to be fair, I have so much volatiles in the liquid tank that it's probably not even going to be much of an issue. I'll have plenty for rockets for the foreseeable future, you know. Uh, I am going to send it up there to get some more volatiles. And that's because I'm, you know, I'm going to have a ton. All right, void vapors, building, building, vo metal mavens, yes. Space alloy enthusiasts. Star Smelter. Okay, number nine runway path will be taken up by Mew Metal Mavens. The other one, once it's done, it's going to be taken up by the next one. So basically, this base has essentially come together. Uh, ooh, that's not good. Copper and silicon and gold. I need to go check on this. Uh, it's looking like I might actually need to get a pressure rocket, a pressure fed rocket for my uh, ores and send it out to get some ores if I am basically out of those. I got a, a ridiculous ton of iron, coal got stuck on silicon again. You're starting to be less and less reliable. Kind of sucks. Got a lot of coal, a lot of silicon. But you don't have a lot of copper nor gold. You still got silver, you still got nickel, you still got... You get stuck is what happens. Because you want seven of copper. But there isn't enough. I thought I'd put logic in you for that. Why, why is it not working right? And it has one too many, which is fine, because I saw that happen. 
Nine it needs two. Eight needs three. Six needs eight. Five needs eleven. It's going to go through them again. All right. Look at up. Look at that. 80,000 space bucks. The the irony is I haven't even started with the big stuff yet, like actually make smelting alloys. I'm gonna need my backpack. Okay. I know you need to discover because if I remember right, this one was the absolute genius volatiles, but can't really just leave it at nothing. Let's check on my chickens. Something tells me one of them is going to be stupid and basically already killed itself. I'm pretty sure one of them already offed itself by forgetting to eat. Oh, wow. They are all surprisingly alive. Oh, don't go out there. It's dangerous out there. I love the freezer suit. Okay. So, I'm just gonna have to brave it. This is so not safe. Help! Help! I'm dying! Help! I'm dying! Oh. It's ridiculous and funny at the same time. All right, uh... Okay, so this corn is going to go in here. This is gonna get cooked. So this corn is going to go into the chickens. That way they'll have a little bit of extra. Low pressure. Oxygen low. Oh! Pressure I have got critical. to remove that. That's Oxygen that's like critical. the only hazard left in this. All right. Corn. Whoa! Chickens on their heads. All right, they have plenty of food now. And basically time to wrap up. Okay, so basically, 
Next time, I'm gonna continue with the maintenance floor. Uh, if you're wondering where Essa has been, I'm not. In she's basically had a rough. She's having a rough time at work. Um, Stationeers is a very thinking game, and admittedly, that's. It's very hard to, for you, for anyone to just pick up a thinking game and just kind of do well on it, you know? Especially when you've had a hard day at work. So that's kind of where she's at right now. So she's still going to be unconscious. I'm going to keep working on it, but hopefully she'll be proud of the work that I've done. And at least getting... I didn't know I could take my backpack in there. At least getting the habitat livable and stuff like that. Which is some minor edits and tweaks. So yeah. Next time, we're going to continue the work. I think I'm going to have to make a pressure-fed engine, and, uh, rocket, and start thinking about how I'm going to do the whole space ore processing. I mean, I got an idea. Don't, don't get me wrong. I got an idea. But I got to actually make the plans to do that because it's looking like I'm starting to run out of specific ores. And... I'll run it by ESSA to see if I can just go on ahead and make a scanner rocket and chart out the rest of Europa. Because all the good stuff admittedly is in the later parts where you have where you actually need to be concerned about running out of fuel. And it is much more profitable to go for the late stuff. The early stuff is fine, but for how I have my uh, pump liquid engine filled up, it can hand it should be able to handle a trip all the way out to the furthest reaches of Europa. Mine a couple nodes, come right back, offload literally full cargo. That That's how good the later areas are. So yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, catch you all later, and uh, thank you and have a good day.